What's up guys, it's your boy Saul back at it again. We actually been in the road for about an hour and 15 minutes uh, with my boy Barasa. We're on the way right now to go pick up an engine for La Blue. We actually had Barasa open up the engine. He was gonna re-ring the engine and it turns out the pistons were bad. And we're actually gonna send out that engine to get built as well. And we might slap that on La Perlita. We're not too sure about that one or we might just have it for backup for La Blue. But as of now, what are we gonna go pick up, Ross? 408 stroker engine, fully built. Sheesh. Making big, making big power. But um, it should be ready. We have no time, we're on crunch. So Saturday, there's an event. So I'm gonna be coming back from Miami on Friday, or no, actually Saturday morning, I should be coming back from Miami and I should be able to pick up the truck from Barraza. So he's gonna slap that in for me so we can make it to that event. I forgot who's throwing the event on Saturday. Full throttle? Full throttle. Uh, Papi Paga too, right? Papi Paga. We're doing a 7-0 index flashes, 7-5. 7-0, 7-5. We're taking the trophies home. So I'm gonna be right there hanging out with the RV guys. They're all my people, so we're gonna be right there hanging out. I'm gonna have the merch out there. The boots gonna be set up, and we should be doing the 7075 indexes. And we're gonna have a lot of trucks out there, guys. The whole RV crew is gonna have their trucks out there, and my boy's gonna have his. What build you got? Uh, 427 Super Stroke. Yeah, he got a crazy motherfucker. That thing is moving now. He got it tuned right. So uh, we should be out there on Saturday, guys. But as of now, uh, let's pull up to Homeboy with the engine, and let's hope we get some good news. Pulled up to Humble right here. We're about to go check out that engine. We're about to talk to him, see what all it got done to it. And he's gonna be letting us know basically what's all inside the engine and what we got going on in there. And make sure that's really what we want for the truck. Because like I said, before I wanted to make the build crazier than it already was. Basically, I want it to be three times better than what it was. So we're going for a big engine this time. AMV Automotives. So we're about to check them out and see what we got. If you wanted the 24 count, so you tell me you want a 24 count or a 54 count. No, we'll go 24. Yeah, 54. I mean, you can, you can put it on because you gotta take the crankshaft off anyways. Yeah, yeah. So, that's it right there. Uh, it's got the uh, Texas Speed Crank. It's got the uh, Dr. Buffstick uh, camshaft. You can trigger union of, uh, on the roller rockers. It's got a, it's a, LS3, I did some uh, hand poured and polishing on them. It's got the studded, it's got the D, uh, DSS pistons on it. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, they're LS3 heads? LS3 heads. It's got the HB rods from SCAT, and it's got the DSS pistons in it. You can see them in there. So uh, about 10-3, about 10-3 to 1 compression. Right here we got the we got a 58 so my boy Ross has to take this to Nickens. So we're gonna get it switched out to a 24 that way it fits right onto our system over there. From there, what that's basically it. Here you had a the push rods, hard the push, push rods. rods, yeah, hard and push rods. Yeah, coming a little bit hard and push rods will take speed. So basically these little things right here, he's gonna bring some to Barasa tomorrow for the engine and really we it's minor stuff that he's gonna need, so we're gonna definitely take the engine. So let's go. All right, Appreciate it. I never got your name, man. It's Jose. Jose. Everybody, nice everybody, everybody Jose. calls me Red, so All right. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Canelo. Canelo. Once we get it running, we're gonna get some video shout out to you because Oh yeah, that's you cool. deserve to see this thing running. Oh yeah, definitely. That was my baby. I was gonna put it in my Chevelle, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. I'm ready to see this run. This is exactly what I was looking for. So we also came in clutch going to that swap meet and meeting Finding this Red. Guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is definitely what we were looking for. We we're trying to hurt some feelings, so this is what it's gonna be. Four-way struggle, baby. Actually, uh, it's a 4.3, but he's saying 408 just to scare y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we got about, what, 250 horsepower? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. <laughs> with nitrous. Uh, with nitrous, maybe 300. Yeah. All right, guys, so we just locked in the deal for the engine. We got Brasa pulling up the truck. We're going to load it up. And, man, I'm super excited for this build. We're hoping to break it in and have it ready and tuned by Friday. I'm going to come pick it up from Brasa's, and the truck should be pulling like no other. It's ready for, he said it was ready for a 300 shot i'm not quite sure if i want to run a 300 shot on it i want to say i'm probably gonna run max 100 shot on it just because i want to be easy on the engine it's gonna be just a couple test runs at first for a fact the truck's coming back harder than ever i'm super excited for this build because it actually got badass parts and he was saying he was going off of atk build which those engines go for a lot of money and he charged me a fraction of that money for the same engine so i'm super excited can't wait to see it turn on and everything it shouldn't be too loud like he said but it's gonna definitely have some power behind it let me go help him unload it I, I'm making a certified cologne. I want you to let me know what it's like. 
So we just dropped off the motor guys at Barasa shop. We were looking at it. We're gonna do a couple things tomorrow. We're gonna drop it off actually at Nickens. They're gonna change that reluctor wheel like I said earlier. And we're right here with my boy Moro. And we wanna get Moro's opinion on my new cologne. Smell it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my my it smells badass. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I said, we're heading out to Miami today. It's six in the morning. About to be seven in the morning. It's a flight that we could get soonest over here. We're finna head out to Miami. We're finna go get a yacht, and we should be riding around with the jet skis and everything else. It should be a fun couple days. We're gonna try to come back as soon as possible because Saturday we gotta be here for that event, and La Blue should be ready with the brand new built-ass engine. So stay tuned, guys. Guys, we finally landed in Miami, getting a new yacht with the guys. We're gonna go ride around the jet skis, ride the yacht, get some videos for the website, because we've been so busy, we haven't had a chance to update the whole website and promote the whole scenario thing we got going on over here in Miami. The reason we chose Miami for this business is because Miami does pop off. Us having a yacht and having jet skis, it allows anybody who comes out here to Miami and that has a way to contact me or any of my guys, hit us up and say, hey, we're trying to book the yacht and the jet skis for this certain day. So all my people that come out here and party, y'all go. Go ahead and feel free to hit me up. Yeah, this place is huge. We started off over there, over there somewhere, which is right here. And we gotta walk through all this to get to this building. So we got a long little walk. Let's get, let's get on with the show. So we made it to the room. It says two different rooms right now, so I'm confused. We need to figure it out. Okay, I see, I see what's going on. Just in case you got parties. So if you got a big party, this is how to do it. You get this room right here. You got the room next door. And then you got this whole living space right here. For your party at. And there's two rooms back there. We're, we're gonna show y'all that. We're gonna stick to over here. But man, this is a crazy, crazy view. We're like right off this little island on the side of the beach. So you get to see everything. But. Man, we had a crazy night last night. We stepped out, it's just on some Miami vibe stuff. I need the glasses to say my eyes are really low. We're still pretty uh, turned from yesterday. But uh, we're actually right here in the shipyard. Uh, what would you call this? Like a storage unit for ships? Yeah, probably. And they just loaded up the ship on the water. It's a yacht, really, so we're about to meet it for the first time and see what we got going on here. It's gonna be lit. Right after this, we're gonna head on over and pick up our jetskis and have some extra fun tonight. Turn it up for y'all because it's too loud. And we got the whole fam out here. They're teaching my boy and this girl that are going to be ordering it. 
They're teaching them how to drive the boat. This thing is fast. Right now he pulled on it and the whole front end, it says like my trucks when I take off at the track. It's pretty dope. Like I said, it got a crazy sound system. All right guys, so we finally made some marina. We're actually dropping off the jet skis with the team. We haven't been doing a lot of recording because there was a lot of driving and talking involved, but we just got some news from the previous owner that the marina is not going to let us take the yacht back in once we take it out. So we're going to go over there in the jet skis and hope to talk to him and see if we can pay him out to let us keep it there for a couple days since the marina we're using is right across the street from here and they don't got our spot ready till Monday. So we're about to hop on on the jet skis and take off, go around the ocean a little bit. This is what it looks like when we're hopping in. It's some certified shit right there. Man, for all y'all that still ain't shopped on the website, we're gonna be updating a couple things on there and we're gonna be throwing a couple deals. That way everybody gets their merch and enters that giveaway truck. So we made it to the island, guys. Uh, we're right here in the middle of Miami Beach, literally. And I wanna show y'all how clear this water is. Crazy how clear this water is right here. Um, this is a little island where people stop by and they hang out, drink a little bit, talk, whatever, get a view. But um, we literally just stopped here quick. We're about to go back to Optic Bowl and have them take the other videos for the website and everything else. But man, it's a pretty cool view. for the jet skis for the business page and also for the website but man look at the stuff i just found that's insane somebody just lost their boat and don't give not one single okay. stuff like that right there that's actually gonna hurt me yeah guys look what i found wow Heading back to dock up and put the jet ski back up in the truck and there's a flipped over boat. I don't know how long that thing's been flipped over, but hey, it looks like it's been there for a minute. But let me go load up this jet ski so we can go on with the rest of the day. We're about to go actually to a Snoop Dogg concert that happens to be right at the hotel that we're staying at, which is a coincidence. So hey, we decided to get them Snoop Dogg tickets and we're going to be partying with Snoop Dogg all night. So guys, we're back in town. We've been here all morning. All afternoon. We got Rick out here tuning the truck. We had a couple little details, like little minor stuff, map sensors that O'Reilly gave us wrong. A couple little things that are causing issues. So we might not make it to a bracket racing, which was the goal, but we're still gonna test and tune and we're gonna make sure we get some good numbers out there, scare a couple people. We're obviously not gonna run a 300 shot of NOS today. We're only gonna run 100, just so nobody gets the idea of what the truck's running. As of right now, Mr. Rick's in there tuning it, as y'all can see. So for the next video, y'all gonna see this bad girl at the track, man. See y'all in the next one.